So you read the title correctly. I am selling as much as I possibly can right now. And it's not quite what you think. I'm actually selling some of my items that I don't bloody need. So I've recently, just yesterday, closed a sale on my Audi R8. Literally my favorite car since I was a child. I had the older version, then I bought the newer version and a beautiful car. I daily drove it, absolutely amazing. But I've sold that, I've sold an apartment here in Dubai and what I'm doing is I'm collecting up as much dry powder as I possibly can ready for what might come. Now I am in no way about to dump all of my money into the market where we sit right now. I am gearing up for what I believe is gonna happen. Now, of course, I will continue to A, dollar cost average into things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, probably some other larger cap altcoins that we've spoken about here on the channel. But what I'm doing is that I'm preparing for the opportunities that I know are going to start coming. Now, these are opportunities of smaller cap cryptos that uh, we can find super early. This could be, let's say a gaming token or crypto that uh, has been completely forgotten about from the market. This could be an early stage investment in the form of a seed round, a private round, or getting involved in, a, in a, an investment on a launch pad. And I'm gonna need dry powder. Launch pads, by the way, I think are gonna have an exceptional run in this bull market because they, again, just like we followed in the last bull market, give people, normal retail investors, the opportunity to get involved into very early stage startup cryptos. And yes, there's gonna be one guy in this, uh, watching this video that comments down there, yeah, but Connor, uh, if you get the lowest tier, then you only get $15 or $20 or $50 or $100 or whatever it is into these investments. That's how much you can put in. And, and you only get 10% when the token is created. But guys, I have literally made from, I think it was a $300 investment, over $100,000 on a launch pad. It, absolutely insane. Go and look at the chart of Blocktopia and you can see exactly what happened on that. Absolutely insane. With that said, I didn't get that whole amount of money because I got 10% out and then it uh, unlocked over time, but I got a significant amount of money um, out of a couple of hundred dollars. Now, I'm not sure if it was exactly $300, but it was in and around, like, it was about $300 to $700 the investment. <laughs> Absolutely insane. So these are the kind of opportunities that I will be going heavy into. I bring you guys opportunities, uh, early stage investment opportunities that I find, like I said, through connections or through just finding these things. Recently here on the channel, we spoke about a few cryptos that I've invested into and they have gone up significant amounts. And these are with big, I have allocated large amounts of money to them. With that said, what will I do with my Bitcoin and my Ethereum? If, and this is a big if, but I actually believe that what we're gonna see next is the most painful possible thing. <laughs> like, what is the most likely thing to come before we get a huge bull market is the most painful possible thing. How does BlackRock get the cheapest possible Bitcoin? We flush out almost all retail investors. First of all, we flush out the leverage. Then we have some black swan event that comes. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just spitballing here. This is what I think. Some black swan event, like a major exchange collapses, like a major country bans crypto, like, or they ban mining or whatever it is, right? Some big event that gets everyone scared. Now, if you have that in your mind and you expect that to happen, what do we do? We use it as a, a life, once in a lifetime opportunity. COVID was a once in a lifetime opportunity that nobody expected to happen. And that changed the trajectory of my life. Because on that day, I had decided, I've already gone balls to the wall with my Bitcoin investment. I put a ton of money in it around nine to 10K. It literally halved in one day, even more than halved, right? I lost, there's videos of me talking about this. I, yeah, I didn't know what was gonna come, but on that day, that fateful day, I don't remember exactly what day it is, but if you're watching this and you lived through that, obviously you lived through it, but if you lived through it in an investment point, you know what day I'm talking about. Tesla was down, Bitcoin was down, everything was down, the whole world crashed, right? But I was buying on that day. And I don't think that there's gonna be an event of that magnitude at all, but I do think 
that Bitcoin and crypto is gonna come down before it goes up. Now, I don't know how low it could go. Maybe it just retests the $30,000 mark. Maybe we get a little bit lower. Maybe we get as low as 15K. I have no idea and I'm not here to tell you that I know what's gonna happen. We can look at the charts and we can guess from the charts and from history what will happen and we do that uh, on the channel. But here, I'm honest with you guys. I don't know what's gonna happen so I prepare for both. So now I have a ton a ton of extra cash that I'm gonna be injecting into this market because I wholeheartedly believe that we're gonna see a monumental bull run, right? I don't know if it's gonna start now. I don't know if we're already in it. Some argue that we're 33% in this bull run already. Maybe we are and I'm already positioned and I will use the cash that I have now collected to get early stage investments. If we get a pullback uh, of anything significant, I will be buying more Bitcoin, more Ethereum. And of course, remember when I trade meme coins and high risk stuff, if it's on the Ethereum chain, normally I take my profits into Ethereum and I hold it in Ethereum. That's another way that I accumulate. But again, this is just a Sunday. I like to make these videos where I talk to you on a Sunday exactly what I'm doing. And I, again, I do believe this is gonna happen, but I must, must again reiterate, you have to be safe out here. The property that I sold and the car that I sold are, are, I mean, the car is not one of many. It's my only car, it's a daily driver, but I'm selling it because I do not need it. Don't need to be driving around with that amount of money locked in a car, stupid. Obviously it fulfilled my boyhood dreams of having those sorts of cars, but I don't need it right now. When we get into the run, when we get into the bull run and we go crazy, yeah, don't worry, I'll get another one. But right now I don't need it. I'm also traveling a lot, so it sits in the garage like six months a year. So what's the point? Have cash. One of the properties has gone up over 50% since I invested into it at the top of the bull run last time. So I'm actually taking profits from that and I want to reinvest it into much riskier assets, but that's not something that I would suggest to do. I'm only doing this because I want more cash in case an opportunity comes. Maybe that opportunity isn't crypto. Maybe that opportunity is another property in say Bali or another property in Dubai or another investment into a business. Whatever it is, I want some more cash ready for that because I want to go uh, as deep as possible, but I'm not gonna invest any amount of money that will change my safety. This is no, this isn't amount of money that will change the safety net that I have put in place. I put in the safety net in the last bull market, so I am protected no, literally no matter what happens. I'm safe, right? And that's what I want to reiterate for you guys. Yes, this sounds big and crazy and risky. It is, but it's not risky enough to bankrupt me, okay? I do not do things like that. I don't uh, buy crypto with credit, uh, nothing like that, right? I am, I am like very risk on, but I also have a lot of uh, uh, safety nets. When I first started this, I spent 10 years of my life literally saving the pennies to create a safety blanket, which meant I had the ability to start my e-commerce journey, which then gave me the money to invest heavily into crypto. With that said, I do love to talk to you guys like this because I feel like it's uh, a much deeper connection. Because you just hear my thoughts straight off my head. I'm just literally talking to you. So if you do have any questions, uh, please let me know in the comment section. If you like these, do me a favor and do like it because uh, I enjoy it and uh, I want to have a one-to-one -one conversation with you guys or feel like that. Also, if you do want to come talk to me directly, come over and join the Patreon. The link is down there in the description. And of course, guys, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.